ব্যান্ড নয় নম্বর কন তো খালি বিজনেস শাটল ডাউন আছে না তো উই ফ্রম ডিমাপুর চেম্বার অফ কমার্স উই নিড দ্য সাপোর্ট অফ দ্য সিভিল সোসাইটি অর্গানাইজেশনস অলসো সো উই অ্যাকচুয়ালি উই আর ইনভাইটেড বাই ডিসি এন্ড উই হ্যাড এ টক উইথ দেম অল অফ দেম দে সাপোর্টেড আস স্পেশালি ফ্রম দ্য বিজনেস ফ্রম সি এন সি সি আই ব্যান বিজনেস ফ্রম দ্য বিজনেস সাইড the civil society organizations also they are supporting us that's why we uh, we have decided to go ahead uh, with the so this sort of been, uh, meeting has been held several times where uh, this uh, business establishment has called for bans however no uh, positive changes or outcome has been met do you feel that this specific ban or shutter down will impose some sort of uh, changes let's hope for the best in everything we have to start from somewhere so let's hope for the best and, uh, and so what has been the district administration's response to your decision they said uh, they will write to the government to make itself and we will wait for the government response so do you feel like this issue should be taken in the state government level and not in the district level yeah we should be from the state government approximately Um, more than 30,000. Uh, the uh, <coughs> DCCI has given their statement. Right. They, they have mentioned that the ban will continue. Right. Uh, so, uh, from your point of view, uh, what is the statement of the CNCCI with regards to this? I think it's very justified. And uh, the demands of which the, the DCCI has put forward, it's in the court of government for the last two, three years. I think government is sleeping on that. So, Government, it's time government should act. The CNCCI, we had an emergency of uh, meat, of various meat, and we have deliberated on it. So their, it's, it, their demands are justified, and it's, since the, thing, the fact is of the matter is that the issue has taken up by the DCCI. But again, the reality is it's a whole Nagaland issue. So the CNCCI is all on with the... DCCI and if the demand or if the needs be the CNCCI will be stepping on it. Given the fact that Dimapur is a commercial district and uh, as per claims uh, the taxation are centralized only in Dimapur and uh, this taxation is impacting the entire state. However, this issue is being brought up in the district level only. Do you feel that this, state, this uh, issue should be taken up in the, uh, in the, the, the state level? Of course, uh, that's why I'm saying uh, we have a, we had a meeting and we have agreed that uh, we will give all out support and if needed, we'll be stepping in, you know, to make it across Nagaland. But the fact is, uh, again, uh, when the Dimapur is mostly tax, uh, we all know, and it's uh, affecting the entire state, and as well as even the other states, uh, districts, sorry, are facing the burn of multiple taxation, by multiple factions. So uh, definitely it's an issue that uh, has to be dealt at the state level also and we are watching it. So we'll definitely step on it. Once again, sir, this system of ban has been occurring uh, very uh, continuously. Several times it has been incurred by uh, ban by the uh, shutter down by the business establishment. Do you feel that this time there will be a change? No, well, see, uh, we have been Please differentiate it. This is not a ban oh, at all. Shutter down. Okay. It's very uh, clear compo- uh, shutter down, which is voluntary. So technically, I'm closing, I'm locking my home and then staying at home, uh, going out for some work or something like that. So it's uh, not ban. So let me make it very clear. Other thing is, uh, in the past, we have even observed one day shutter down. in respect to this uh, multiple taxation but a day of shutter down nobody takes it seriously so what step the this is has taken is very rightful right, i mean a very right step and we are fully on it we are fully behind it mm-hmm.
So and given the problems of, uh, you know, uh, shutterdowns or bans not being effective, not, yeah. what are the challenges of why it is not successful and how do you uh, wish to overcome those? No, the, the, the fact is that uh, the government, you know, the government always thinks that egg uh, din shutter down guru duo, we din shutter down guru, kiman din jabo. That is the attitude, you know. And then uh, nobody takes uh, takes this issue seriously. Managa public bi, bitor manu bi, government bi bi, ito to habit to isha, adat to isha, na. It's part of life, ito la exception, stage, jai, jai, should only be. The reality of a businessman is that we are dying out. So it's time that we have to uh, make it very clear to not only to the state government but those living taxes, also to the public that we are serious at all, are serious, are very serious about it. So I think that the DCCI will use their wisdom to make sure that you know the entire business community of Nagaland is behind them. So they should go ahead with uh, which is a very rightful step they have taken. So that's it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. So much. But the meeting went for about more than three hours. Yeah. In fact, so what was the outcome of the uh, meeting? Uh, uh, we have discussed at length about all the issues, the grievances of DCCI. Uh, other civil societies were also present. So, like whatever grievances they have shared, will be flaking off to the government today. So hopefully tomorrow we'll get reply. Uh, as far as DCCI is concerned. It is not a total ban, it is just shut the down of their uh, shops. So, as and when there is a positive reply from the government, they will uh, fall off that uh, mm. shut down. Yeah, that is the mm. discussion we made. Do you feel the shut down is justifiable? justifiable? Uh, all the civil societies, they have moral <coughs> support because uh, we all know these extortion things are going on. So, uh, but like, Definitely, if it goes on indefinite, it will affect mm. the common public. Mm. So that is our only request to them. So definitely, uh, some solution may come. So, so let's wait for the coming, what common will give us. Sir, so uh, what were the grievances that the, the CCI... The, the grievances the is CSO. mostly on this extortion, mm. multiple taxation. And so, do you feel that this issue should be taken up in the state government level and not the district level? Uh, yeah, we'll have to, whatever issues are here, we'll have to flank up to the common. So, uh, we'll have to give uh, this common should be in the picture of what is what is happening in our uh, district. So, that is the issues where we'll have to give the report. They are also asking us the report from the Home Commissioner, the outcome of the meeting. So, definitely now we'll uh, prepare the meeting minutes and we'll send the report. So have they uh, mentioned any sort of like, uh, say, uh, in terms of taxation, since that is the main core issue of uh, today's meeting, so in terms of like uh, monetary taxation, how many in a year or month are maybe... In that figure that they have not mentioned, but just mentioned, uh, say that I think you might have all seen in paper, it is of multiple taxation, so that is the issues or issues which we have discussed. Yeah. Sir, you have just mentioned now that uh, uh, yeah, from your endorsement you will be writing to the state government. So, uh, any ultimatum for that? And if not, if not, any response from the government is uh, indefinitely? There is no ultimatum as such, but we were informed that even the uh, cabinet also they will have meeting on 26. We'll discuss all these issues. So, some positive outcome will be there. Yeah.